長は NHK 党のガーシーさんの国会も3月まで欠席しあの会内に出席しなかった場合懲罰委員会で除名などの処分が検討されます。Right? So I'm about to get in the shower. Am I tripping? Or did the Japanese manage to create a mirror that fogs up everywhere else but the middle? I've been talking about how innovative they are, but if this, unless I'm tripping, that is the greatest invention ever. I would do anything to have a mirror that somehow doesn't fog up in my home. All right, so I finished my shower and I texted my friend Stephanie again. She's my go-to for everything in Japan because she used to live here. She's like my best friend. So. This didn't fog up. And I said, is this a Japanese thing or am I tripping? She's like, that is Japan efficiency for you. This place is incredible. This is my makeup for the day. It's the same as any other day. I went a little bit extra this time. I love being naturally beautiful. It is the greatest flex ever. But I decided to enhance my gigantic eyeballs. As you can see, I put on eye makeup. So I'm walking to the Godzilla statue. It's somewhere. I think if I just keep walking straight this way, I'm gonna go towards it. By the way, it's been just six minutes since I've been walking since my hotel, and I've already gotten two people who asked me on a date. Like, so much for Japanese men being shy. They're not shy at all. He looks so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, Hawaii? Uh, Hawaii. <laughs> So I'm finding my way to the Tokyo Metropolitan Building right now, where apparently I can get an incredible... Ah! I just touched the Japanese button! I can go get an incredible view of all of Tokyo, including Shibuya Sky, but we're taking baby steps. Today, I'm sticking with Shinjuku, and then I'm gonna be bold and attempt. Nah, I'm just kidding. I will never get used to cars being on this side of the street. They all drive on the right side, but it feels good to be here. Just so you know, it's not nerve wracking. I mean, when I first landed, I was like, uh oh. And it's very easy to get Wi Fi. There you go, free Wi Fi. But I don't need it. I'm a master at getting around, seriously, without directions. Even in San Diego. Like, I'm not from San Diego and from SoCal, but even in San Diego, I don't use directions. I just drive and I just find things. That's my superpower, seriously. Finding places without directions. That's the sign that says observatory. I believe I found what I'm looking for. I can't deal with this. You're probably wondering, why aren't you wearing contact lenses? Well, in case you don't follow me on Instagram, oh, look at all of that. First of all, Japanese food is prime. Um, but basically, my contact lens prescription expired right before the new year and I didn't even know if I knew I could have ordered multiple. This is where I'm headed by the way. But also my health insurance for vision doesn't go into effect till February 1st. Like I have vision insurance but I mean it's you have to get a referral from a doctor so basically I'm stuck without contacts until I return home which sucks but hey I'm in Tokyo. I'm happy to be fogged up to be in Tokyo. This looks so good. So the Katsu place, well, let me move my mask. The Katsu place is actually not open yet, but guess what I just stumbled into? Very cute Japanese fashion. 
So I'm gonna go in here. Look at that Letterman jacket. How adorable is this? I'm also gonna try to find like a normal department store. I believe that is $26.80. Look how cute. Simple blazer. I can find things to wear to church because in the US everything includes lots of cleavage. I was also told to get a scalp massage somewhere. So I'm gonna come back here and remove my clip ins in the evening <laughs> and go get a scalp massage because this looks very pleasant. There's so much shopping. Is it okay, record? Okay. There's so much shopping here. This is so cute. Oh yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Oh, I mean, I got the design. I have no idea what kind of magic I just walked into, but I thought I was just going into a subway station. It turns out this is an entire underground mall at Shinjuku, I guess. And look. I knew that jet lag would be a thing, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Yesterday was actually pretty solid, but the jet lag hit today. Right now, it's about 2 a.m. California time. Yesterday. I can't do this, so I took a nap. I just, let me just sit down on the bed. Let me, now, it's been three hours. So I took a three hour nap. I shouldn't have done that. It would have been better if I just kept it going and adjusted. So now it's 7.15 PM. I only ate the hotel breakfast, which was bread and coffee. And then lunchtime, I had that really big katsu meal, tongue katsu meal, which was incredible. I'm, I'm still thinking about it, you know, cause I make my tongue katsu as you saw in my shorts video. Cause yeah, I'm doing YouTube shorts now. Apparently it's, kind of a good way to like grow your channel too as well. In addition to just sharing short form, cute content throughout the day, which is very easy for me to edit. But when I cooked that, mine didn't come out that flaky. You know, it's like the breadcrumbs, the panko breadcrumbs stick to it, but it's not the same as that. You know why? Because they have a deep fryer. So I need to get a deep fryer, but there's just something different about it. They're clearly battering it up way differently. It is just that the way it just, it did that, the crunch. It was so good. The pork just melted in my mouth. It was so good. Also fun fact, I accidentally poured tea into my miso soup because I thought she was saying refill, as in pointing to that, as in refill your miso, but she meant she was pointing towards a button on the side where you press the button for service. Everything about Japan is very, well, Japan, Tokyo, is very futuristic, but at the same time, it's backwards in some ways. So it's interesting figuring it out. Oh, excuse me. All right, no, we're gonna get up. I get. Up. I'm up. My eyes are red now. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna go. I gotta get this dinner. Also, I wanna try. Yeah, it's gonna help. I don't wanna drink coffee right now, but if it's if it's a must, if it's a must, there's this place. I guess Korea Alley is kind of near where I'm staying. I didn't realize that in Okubu. And you know how I feel about Biscoff. The cafes here, this is for a different video. I, I don't know if I'm gonna fit, fit this in tonight, but the cafes here are unreal. I don't wanna be sleeping a single second that I'm here, but also I walked around a lot today. I walked pretty much 
not all, but like I walked back and forth from my hotel to the other side of Shinjuku. I'm glad I didn't take the subway anywhere today, actually. I ended up just staying in the area because I got so tired. But tomorrow, the next vlog is the day when I actually leave Shinjuku and I go south to Shibuya or Harajuku. It can't be that hard. Plus, my second Japanese boyfriend wants to meet up tomorrow. Well, let's see. By the way, I deciphered who do I actually meet up with based off of energy. I made it very clear. You don't have a chance with me. You don't. Here we go. Friendship is all I need. You know, I mean, you do have a chance like over a long period of time. You know what I mean? Like, are you following my drift? You know how hard it is dating as a, a you know, a Christian woman in these times? I just don't, I, you know, as much as I want to pride the very handsome Japanese men here and be like, oh, they're all so sweet. Every man wants the same thing. Well, that looks familiar. It's very useful that they have maps everywhere. I just walked from my hotel. I'm going there. By the way, again, I've already left a hotel if I'm posting this. Internet safety, number one. Tomorrow, it is 51 degrees with a low of 30. So you best believe I'm going to stunt in my best outfit, which I have, which is one of the two mini skirt combos. 